Hi guys, it's Joe from the Joda Podcast. Today we're going to recap some of our favorite breaks over the past week on Mornings with Joe and Da on 104.3 The Pulse. Got a little bit of everything from renting goats to how do you eat your hot dish to even reviewing a brand new movie coming out. And that's what we're going to start with here on the Joda Podcast. Unsung Hero, it's a new movie that's coming out next month, actually, uh, April 26th. Um, it is a movie that was directed by Joel Smallbone from For King and Country and Richard Ramsey. It is a biopic uh, about the Smallbone family. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, I didn't realize their last name was Smallbone until the movie. Yeah. I'm like, who's Smallbone? It's a very... (laughs) I have no idea. I've heard Wishbone. (laughs) What's the story? Wishbone, but never Smallbone. But David Smallbone, their dad, uh, was a promoter, a Christian music promoter in Australia. And times got hard, and he had to bring the family to the United States. That was an ordeal. Seven kids and a pregnant wife, Helen. And the movie just talks about them coming over to the U.S., the struggles that they had as a family to 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 make it Mm -hmm. and the eventual discovery of uh, their one daughter, Rebecca, Mm -hmm. who Rebecca St. James, uh, her name is Rebecca Smallbone, but she changed it. (laughs) And it's really cool how she changed her name. We won't we won't give that away. But uh, also uh, her little brothers, Luke and Joel, Mm -hmm. who grew up to become for king and country and you know produce and direct this movie and mm-hmm. so what were your initial thoughts babe we got a sneak peek of it yesterday uh, i mean my first thought and we were talking about it on the way home joel's acting has just it's amazing he is very accomplished he has become such a great actor i am so impressed with his acting in this mm-hmm. in this um but it has a lot to you know the, the show the movie has a lot to do with our pride yeah you know, and his dad was like not just a um, music. I mean, he was the guy in the guy. in Australia to go to to bring in Christian music, and then he comes to America and he becomes nobody. Yeah, and it's the struggle of him coming from like having all this money and being rich and well known to like, who are you? You know, mm-hmm. who am I? And go up, going from the depths of that and coming up and and you get to see how the family comes together. I love the little family moments in there. Yeah, I love the foreshadows of like some of uh, King and Country songs that yeah. are throughout the movie. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's really well done. And Candace mm. Cameron Bure's in it, and yeah. she's also an, ex- an executive producer of the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she wears a red wig, which is kind of weird to see. Yeah, red hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what's DJ from Full House wearing a red wig for? The red hair threw me so much with her, but. But yeah, it's it's very well done, and I highly suggest seeing it in theaters and go and support it. It's great, and you know, extremely well done. Yep. My only complaint was they got they, there was a little continuity errors. There was a little. It's a movie, but it's a movie. Yes. They they you know messed the story the timeline up just a little bit here sure. and there. But that's that happens with just about any. But movie. honestly, if her brothers were making it and and their family was all involved and they were okay with it, then, what then are you, we, who are you to say? Yeah. Yeah, who am I? Who am <laughs> it's I? It's their story. But uh, it was just cool to see the background of that uh, yeah. because I remember when Rebecca St. James came out, I had a huge crush on her yeah. back in the early 90s. Yeah. So, uh, well, and the girl they got to play her looks like her. She did phenomenal. She really did. She did such a great job with her. And the mother, uh, oh, the actress yes. who plays Helen, Daisy Betts. She was wonderful. Positively, absolutely awesome as an actress. And the 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 hero of the movie is Helen. Yeah, she's the unsung hero. She really is. So all how she was she the keep, one that was behind everybody that was in the front. And like, keep, yeah, keeping the family together. And if so, she was even half the mother that they portrayed in that movie, she's a phenomenal mom. Yeah, she's so great. Uh, out of uh, out of four stars, how many do you give it? Twelve. Twelve stars. I I honestly think everyone needs to go support this in theaters when it comes out in April. I would love to see the theater theaters just flooded that they have to re show it for an extra week. That would be cool. Because it is it's an important movie and it's something we can all relate to. Unsung Hero is the name of the movie. Comes out April twenty sixth. Good morning to you, my friend. It is uh, your buddy Joe and Da. Your buddy Da, and uh, it's time to talk about our little buddy. Uh, it's time for the roadie report. All right, 
We like to keep you up to date on what's happening with Rhodey and Parma, our rescue kitties, and uh, Rhodey has been extra cute lately. <gasps> she has. Speaking of holding on, she holds onto her shoestring. She's got this little shoestring that I don't even know where she got it from. These cats find yeah. things in the strangest places, and she walks around the house with it in her mouth. She'll just carry it around the house and scares me sometimes because sometimes I think it's a snake. But yeah, she just, it's, she loves that little thing. And she takes it with her, every, and Parma yes. knows that that's Rhodey's yes. string. She won't touch it unless, like, they're both, like, I'm chasing them around the house with it or something. Yeah, they'll, they'll, then they'll both play it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. she's like, okay, you go, girl. That's, mm -hmm. your, that's your thing. I'll play with the ball over here. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, you know. I mean, Parma will grab it and jump up on the couch and nap with it. She's just Aww. so cute. Like... Well, uh, you you uh, locked it in the room once. Well, so we shut our bedroom door just because I don't trust him. And <laughs> and when we got home from um, from work last week, we, we walked in and and Rody usually they come up and greet us, but Rody was sitting by the bedroom door and just did her little. <coughs> she squeaks. Yeah. And I was like, hi, and I thought she wanted to say hi to me, but she didn't. And when I opened the door to go take my jewelry off. She went running in the bedroom, grabbed her shoestring, and ran back out. <laughs> she was just like, my stuff's in there. It's like, oh, yeah, the humans are home. Oh. Get my string now. So cute. <laughs> hey, Joe here, and Amanda is here putting her headphones I just on. I knocked myself in the head with Schmack. my headphones. You already have a migraine. <laughs> Don't hit yourself in the head anymore. <laughs> my goodness, what are you trying to do to yourself? It's, it's It makes you more clumsy when you have a migraine because your, like, depth perception is just wonky. <laughs> and, yes, I just smacked myself in the face. No blood. We're good. We're wonky good. da. Wonky da. <laughs> Wonky dog today. Wonky dog. So today is National Tater Tot Day. Yes, tater tots. That's the second thing Joe loves the most after shamrock shakes, tater tots, and then me. What if you take the tater tots <laughs> and you dip them in the shamrock shake? You know, I just crinkled my nose at that thought, but we do it with like Wendy's Frosties. Fra fries into the Frosty? How what? about I don't know how the mint would be, though. In the shamrock shake. I don't know about the mint part of it, but... But anyway, so we posted a question. You'll see it. There's a big pile of tater tots on the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> and it's As asking, there should be. And it's asking, what is your favorite way to eat these beautiful golden delights? Tell us below. So far, tater tot hot dish has been the leading one. Yeah. Um, one person just said in, in ketchup. Yeah. Um, I would normally agree with the tater tot hot dish. However, I grew up with it being called tater tot casserole. That's terrible. Oh, no. The cafe went silent when I said that. <laughs> Oofta. This is truly amazing. I picked this story for you. Okay. Because I know you love goats. Oh, I love goats. Goats uh, are your, th you even do a really mean goat impression. Why don't you go ahead? A mean one? Well, like really good. Oh, okay. It's really loud, so let me back up here. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Who let the goat into the studio? If you have goats, play that for them because <laughs> I, I get reactions from goats every time All I do All the it. time. They, she speaks their language. There is actually a way that you can rent a herd of goats. To just love on them? Well, no. Uh, to clean out uh, if you've got uh, acres of land that it has invasive weeds mm -hmm. and plants like, you know, poison ivy and things sure. like that. They can eat that stuff and it doesn't bother them. Huh. So you can actually rent herds of goats to come to your property and clean them out. And That's they, really awesome. Yeah. Uh, there's websites uh, like HireGoats.com or Goats on the Go. Those are two different. And there are places in Minnesota that rent them. Wow. So you can, you, you, my friend, can rent a herd goats of goats. Goats on the Go. I like that one. Goats on the Go. Goats on the Go. So, uh Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't really have that much of a lawn, and we don't own no, it, so... But they can come and play. Yeah. Actually, the kind of goats you want... Yeah. Fainting goats. I... It is... Okay. It is a dream of mine to run through a field of fainting goats. It's just... <laughs> it, it's a dream of mine. And when I've actually tried to contact farms that have fainting goats, and I've had people say no because it's, like, it's mean they won't trust us... But, oh, would I love to do it just once, just to run through a field of fainting goats. Anybody got fainting goats out there, let us know. That you're know willing to let me run through. That that you're, you're going to be marking off a big item on oh, the dog's bucket list. There's, number one, they're cute. But number two, it's it's funny. And I, they just kind of faint as their reflex. And they just kind of go, <laughs> bloop, like, and their little feet go in the like, air. like, whoop, danger, whoop. 
Oh, it's so cute what they do. Yeah, yeah painting goats. That, that's about my uh, defense level right there, too. Just mm-hmm. fall over. Well, thanks for checking out the Joda podcast. Listen to me and Dai every weekday morning from 6 to 10 Central Time on 104.3 The Pulse.